in the module 5 endpoint device and the mobile phone security what do you mean by endpoint device as in a user some device i'm using that is called as an endpoint device some criminal activity has been done on the cyberspace what all those type of criminal activities and how we can avoid or how we can report those criminal activities how we can use the e-commerce so that we have a secured transfer and advantage of e-commerce what all the advantage of the e-commerce hello everyone welcome to the session of cyber security fifth semester bba syllabus myself induje faculty of computer science department vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysuru next we'll move on agenda what we are going to discuss in this session we are going to discuss about the syllabus what is there according to the university what you have in it then what is a learning outcome after studying complete syllabus on the cyber security what you are going to carry with you what all the knowledge you are going to carry with you that we are going to discuss as a learning outcome then how many units are there for your syllabus and how internal and external marks will be distributed that's all we are going to discuss in introduction class let's go with the syllabus in the syllabus we have five modules for your syllabus according to the university in the first module we are going to discuss about the introduction of cyber security what is cyber security why we have to provide cyber security what all the aspects that comes under the cyber security that all we are going to discuss in the unit 1 in the unit 2 we are going to discuss crime and cyber law what all the criminal activities that is happening on the cyber space that is we are going to discuss and how we can avoid those criminal activities if all already the criminal activity is done what all the laws and how we can report that how we can get benefits out of that or how we can retrieve those uh, criminal activities that all we are going to discuss in the module 2 next in the module 3 we have social media overview and security as you know nowadays social media is everywhere and everything is on the social media how they can provide as a cyber security how we can provide the security on the social media so what all the different types of social media how the data is streaming everything is going to discuss in the module 3 in the module 4 definition of e-commerce all of you is very well aware of e-commerce everything whatever you want from groceries to cloth from brush from toothpaste to toothbrush to your shoes everything is on e-commerce site now everything you can order by sitting at the home so that we are discussing how the uh, e-commerce is working out and how the payments is been generated how the secure payments can be done using the e-commerce that is we are going to discuss in the module four in the module five endpoint device and the mobile phone security what do you mean by endpoint device as in a user some device i'm using that is called as an endpoint device not as a developer as a user user don't know what's going on the background right that so i am the end point that is a user is a endpoint what are the device used by the user that is called as endpoint device it may be laptop it may be desktop it may be tabs or mobiles anything that will be considered as endpoint how in these endpoints they are providing the security that is going to discuss in the module 5 let's see in detail what we have in the module 1 before going for the detailed description of syllabus we'll go with the learning outcome after all studying all the five modules these are the learning outcome what you can carry with you the knowledge what you can carry with you after completion of this course then uh, after successful completion of the course the student will be able to what he'll be able to understand the concept of cyber security and the issues challenges associated with it what is cyber security what all the issues and what all the challenges are there to provide the security on the cyberspace that is you are going to understand and the second point is that understand the cyber crime their nature legal remedies and how to report the crime through the available platform what all the different types of crime you'll get to know and 
nature of the crime how the crime will be conducted and the legal remedies if crime is done what all the legal remedies you can go through with and how to report those criminal activities that is digital crime how you can report that all you are going to understand and you can make use of it as a third point you will appreciate the various privacy and security concerns on online media and understand the reporting procedure of inappropriate content as daily basis you are using the social media uh, internet everything you will appreciate the policies privacy and security policies they are providing us and also you can understand which is inappropriate content and which is a appropriate content if inappropriate content you can block that particular site or particular media like that you will appreciate the securities provided by the different securing systems so these are all the three learning outcome you can understand out of this course next in detail we'll go with the syllabus here we have in the first module introduction to cyber security first we are defining what is cyberspace any activities that is taken place on the cyber that is called as cyberspace okay what is cyberspace what is overview of computer and web technology without computer and without web technology we cannot access any of the uh, internet facilities so what we have to go through with what is computer and web technology architecture of cyberspace how the cyberspace is created communication how the each computers or each person is communicating over the cyberspace and web technology without internet we cannot imagine also right the cyberspace so what is internet internet infrastructure and advancement of internet we are going to discuss what is advancement I means advantages has been through the internet and then apart from that internet security and data transfer governance how data has to be transferred there should be some rules and regulations simply we cannot transfer anything and everything to everyone right so there will be the governance to maintain this there will be the internet society to maintain all the activities that is happening on the internet and the regulation of cyberspace what all the rules and regulation we have to work on the cyberspace and the concept of cyber security issues and challenges of cyber security what all the issues uh, we face while providing the cyber security and what all the challenges we have to address when we are working with the cyber security this all will be covered in the module one then moving on to the module two as we told you already cyber crime and cyber law some criminal activity has been done on the cyber space what all those type of criminal activities and how we can avoid or how we can report those criminal activity here we, we are going to study classification of cyber crime what all the different types of cyber crime we have and common cyber crime that is happening okay what all the major uh, most frequently happening cyber crimes targeting to the computers and cyber crime against the woman and child this is very important which is happening most of the time frequently cyber crime against woman and child concern and financial frauds social engineering attack malware ransomware attack attacks and zero day and zero click attacks cyber criminal uh, modes of operand is how the cyber criminal operates and how they attracts you to get in their particular thing that all will be discussed here reporting of the cyber crime remedial and migration measures how to report how we can get the remedy out of it and what all the measures we can take uh, and the legal prospect of the cyber crime how many laws are there to provide us a security against the cyber crime it amendment uh, infrastructure amendments that is has been done in year 2000 and the amendments that it act has been as internet is growing in 2000 they have created one uh, law for it especially for internet so what all that 
acts and what all the amendments, what all the improvements that has been done for that particular law. Then cybercrime and the offenses organization dealing with the cybercrime. How particular organization will deal certain type of cybercrime and cyber security in India or what all the laws they are provided in India especially for the cybercrime. This is all we are going to discuss in the module. In the module 3, social media overview and the security. Nowadays, most of the time we are using, we are busy with the social media. What is social media overview and what is social networking, types of social media, type of social media platforms, social media monitoring, how to monitor the social media, hashtag viral content, uh, social media marketing, how the marketing is gone from physical to the digital world and uh, social media privacy, how to provide the privacy in the social media, challenges, opportunities and pitfall on the online social networking. Everything has its own pros and cons. What all the pros, advantage of having online uh, social networking and what is the disadvantage of having online social networking. Everything we are going to discuss here. Security issues related to the social media. What all the security issues that comes when we are providing the uh, security as a cyber security person and flagging and reporting if any unwanted content inappropriate content will be there how to flag that and how to report those unwanted content or inappropriate contents and uh, last regarding posting and inappropriate content what happens when you post inappropriate content so some laws are there we should not post inappropriate content to have the regulation on that they have uh, built a law on that the best practice to use a social media how we can use the social media for our benefits that is the best practice to have the social media these are all the uh, things what we are going to discuss in the module 3 in the module 4 the main components of e-commerce we are going to discuss how e-commerce is come into picture what all the components of e-commerce element of the e-commerce security how to provide the security for the e-commerce threats what all the threats we have while using the e-commerce and uh, e-commerce security best practice how we can use the e-commerce so that we have a secured transfer and advantage of e-commerce what all the advantage of the e-commerce survey and popular e-commerce such some of the popular e-commerce sites we can survey and introduction to digital payment what is a digital payment nowadays after the covid digital payment has come maximum is in use right so we are discussing about the digital payment components of digital payments uh, stakeholders what all the stakeholders we have in the digital payments and mode of digital payments how many types of digital payments we have banking services bank cards unified payments uh, internet that is all of you know that is uh, upi e-wallets you have a e-wallets these are all the types of uh, e-commerce or payment type digital payment type unstructured supplementary service data that is ussd when you do a uh, digital payment one transaction id will be generated that is usd the other enabled payment all the payments you are doing using digital uh, platform it should be other enabled and the digital payment related uh, common frauds what are the frauds that can happen uh, with the digital payments and uh, uh, customer protection in unauthorized banking transaction as a customer we can provide a, we can have an avoid the unauthorized payment transaction these are all we are going to discuss in module 4 in the module 5 again we are going to discuss about the endpoint device and the mobile device security i have already told you what is endpoint it may be the laptop mobile uh, tab your ipads your desktops everything is considered as an end mobile so how to provide the security for the device particularly endpoint devices so uh, how we can provide password policies security patch management data backup downloading and management of third party software how to download which software has to be downloaded device security policy cyber security best practice significance of host firewall why should we have the antivirus why should we have the firewall these all things to 
provide you the security about your device because when you are using the device your most crucial or important sensitive data will be stored in your mobiles or in your end devices your personal data everything is so to, it is necessary to provide the security for your personal devices also that's why we are going to study in the module 5 let's move on to the marks distribution uh, this is a 100 marks paper where your marks will be split for 50 is to 50 means 50 marks for the internals and 50 marks for the externals in the 50 marks for the internals here we will be conducting two internals internal 1 and internal 2 and will be taken a best out of it uh, whichever the internal is the best that will be conducted in the first unit and second unit will be means module 1 and module 2 will be covered in the first internal module 3 module 4 and module 5 will be covered in the second internals this is a 50 marks internals where you will be having having uh, 30 marks for your writing the internals and 20 marks is for seminar and then the other activities you will be having. Then you will be having a final paper, final question paper will be of 50 marks, marks distribution will be part A, part B and part C. Each part will be having some uh, reserved marks where you can go through with the question paper. So total marks what we have for the external is for 50 marks and then these are some of the books suppose you uh, have to refer for this particular subject that is a cyber crime impact in the new millennium that is in the new era uh, and the second one is cyber security understanding cyber crime computer forensics and the legal prospectus this is a second book you can refer for the cyber crime and the security in the digital age that is uh, for last two modules you can go through with the third uh, preferred book that is security in the digital ages that gives the social media security threats and the vulnerability thank you